Woohoo! Let's talk about the music is starting. What is Let's Talk About the Music and why are you so excited about it? It's a podcast with controversial talk and a global mix of music. Oh, cool. How and where can I listen? Just go to letstalkaboutthemusic.com and click follow to be sure to get all the info about the bands that are playing and see their music videos. Then click on Spreaker or iTunes to listen live and even chat with other listeners and the host herself. What day and time is Let's Talk About the Music on? Every Wednesday night from 8 p.m. to midnight Pacific Standard Time. I think I'll tune in. Thanks for the info. problems right here oh my god
asked them if they were ready to go on the air, and they're like, no sound came from either one of the guys. <laughs> well, you know. Yes. Oh, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. He's ready. Okay. I'm ready. born ready. All right. All right. Before we introduce our guests on the air, first off, I apologize for being a little bit uh, behind schedule. <sighs> I've been having internet connections issues since 2 o'clock this afternoon, my time, and so, uh, which is Seattle time. And so we're, um, yeah, we didn't know where the show was going to go or not because, yeah, I'm, ha- I'm trying to calm down my anxiety because I'm just like, I don't, why Wednesday night? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm Shills. I am you need from. need that uh, chocolate beer package. Yes, and I need, I need, I need, I need to go get my wine and my chocolate. I ate all my chocolate, by the way, so I need wine and chocolate. It'll help. It will help. <laughs> and so I am Shells, your host. I'm here in Tacoma, Washington, and he's Spider out there in Ohio. That's me. Yes. And anyways, okay. and the whole the whole thing about the show, I, yeah, I'm I'm winging it, so you're gonna slow me down. <laughs> Um, the whole, the whole, if you guys are brand new to the show, this is what the show is about. We are called Let's Talk About the Music, a controversial talk show. It's basically with independent musicians have a problem with the uh, music industry, you come here and we talk about it. But if there are other topics you want to talk about that's your passion, your, um, that you're into, like charity or something you want to talk about, this is a place to do it because that's what we do. We talk about the music and we have a good time. Same time. Yay. Yay. So, and <laughs> tonight I get to talk to a local boy here in Seattle. And please welcome James from Kiss is Kill to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. Uh- you're welcome. Oh, yeah, is that my theme song there? That was a good, I love that. That was good. <laughs> I got to review that one again. <laughs> See, Shell has sold on my sound effects, so we're, we're working on that still. Yes. yes <laughs> no, I think it's good. If you like the guy from uh, Prairie Home Companion or whatever, he does all the MDR, does all the sound effects, or the dude from Police Academy, right? That's, awesome. <laughs> that's right. See, I got a lot to catch up to, to fill in those kinds of shoes, but, but that's the dream. That's my American dream. Yeah, you're right you're well on your way, man. Totally. Well, thanks for coming on the show. Uh, it's a funny thing about um, things that uh, you guys want to talk about, things that upset or piss you off or whatever about the music industry. And I don't have anything necessarily specific in mind there, but I'm sure as we uh, ch- chat over the next while, I'm sure there'll be a bunch of stuff that'll probably come up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you actually had a topic yourself. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, so I, uh, I am, uh, as you mentioned, I have a solo project called Kiss of Kill, which is uh, industrial rock, 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 rock uh, kind of music. music. Um, uh, I, I say, say for those that, sorry? Keep going, keep going. I had to replug my headphones because oh, okay. you guys keep cutting in and out, so I don't know if my headphones are not, and I forgot to turn my headphones on. I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries, no worries at <laughs> all. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'd say it's probably closest in, in the vein of, uh, managed nails or something like that, you know, ministry, stuff like that. Uh, and so that's kind of, that's my own personal, uh, 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 expression, uh, like a musical project that I use for my own personal expression and artistic endeavors and all that. Uh, but, uh, I am fortunate enough that I have a, a full-time career composing for, uh, film and television, uh, uh, which I've done for the last 16 years now. Wow. Jeez, I'm getting old. Yeah, I'm getting old. Um, uh, it's funny. Some of the shows that uh, we work on, in, um, they're uh, uh, kid shows or shows of teenagers, and I'm actually, I've been doing this long enough now that sometimes I get full-grown 25-year-olds or whatever come up to me and, I love the, <laughs> I used to watch that when I was a kid, so that's how I know that I'm, I'm in this game a while now. Uh, so, uh, and I guess, you know, there's, th- those are two absolutely different worlds, uh, and I live in both of them, and I would almost think of it like, you know, two halves of me. Uh, like, I wouldn't be happy if either of them were not in my life. Uh, they're both satisfying in different ways. So that was mainly what I was going to talk about today was, uh, 
you know, what are the similarities, what are the differences, uh, what's the good, what's the bad in, in each uh, kind of thing. So what should I, what do you want to hear about first? What should I sp- start talking about? Uh, the TV stuff or the kiddo stuff? Or? Well, you, <clears throat> you have a lot of stuff to choose from. I'm not too sure where I want to go with that. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Well, I think, I think I should actually let's start from the beginning, and that would be the film and TV stuff, because then okay. that kind of naturally branches off. And stop me if you have questions or anything like that. I'm just, I've uh, had my double shot of coffee here, so I'm all uh, Gabby right now, so you caught me at a good Perfect. time. You know what? Yeah, I gotta, exactly, I gotta, right? You know, I got to stop you right there for one second, because you and Spider are so much alike. It is really uncanny. Period. Oh, good. So <laughs> we're mean, both totally awesome. We're twins. You're, yeah. You guys are separated <laughs> awesome. twins. Okay, here's the similarity. One, you okay. both like Nine Inch Nails. Two, nice. oh, yeah. you guys play kind of like do the exact same kind of music. Awesome. Have, yes. And two, yeah, very similar. Very, very similar. You both nice. are you are both young fathers. Oh, that's right. I heard about this. Yep. That's right. Yes. Yep. And so, yeah, we were separated at birth. And see. that's not We're all. Perfect to have you on the show. <laughs> <laughs> that's not like all. Coffee. Yes, and he's on. Co- both of you guys are on coffee right now. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm a coffee <laughs> fanatic, absolute coffee fiend. <laughs> but there's one more thing too that that no one really knows. I told you this is Spider last week, I think. Is that I asked okay. you to be a co-host when I first started, and you, re- you turned it up because you're too busy. Now I know why. And so it led for Spider to be the co-host. So just like seriously, I'm talking to twin brothers that's been separated from birth. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm and also Spider, too busy, but I'm here anyway. Excuse my <laughs> my ignorance, Spider. What's the name of your band or your group? Uh, it expands on my nickname here. It's Spider in the Hall, and uh, the theme song at the beginning of the show was uh, was me. That was a good okay, example awesome. of what I awesome. do. So. I'm gonna Google you after the show and find, track you down and all that stuff, and we'll we'll meet up awesome. in the virtual world and everything De- like that. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, I I'm all wrote, over the I place. I just wrote I'm all that iTunes, down. Amazon, oh, great! All kinds of places, so I'm easy to find. Perfect. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Spider just had his 14th album just came out too, so I'm very excited. Oh my gosh, 14! Oh my god, that's that's ridiculous, man. <laughs> that's good. Good. Oh, well, yeah. How long have Since, you been? Since 99. 99 was when I okay. uh, yeah, okay. started That's, out. That makes so a bit of sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man, 14. Oh, my God. It took me three years just to put the Kisses Kill album together. <laughs> so I'm trying See? to move at a quicker pace for the next one. But, uh, you know, it takes a, I, I, I take forever with this stuff. A lot of it is because, A, and that's what I'll get into as well, a lot of it is because I'm busy writing music for TV shows and whatnot, and then at the end of the day, I don't feel like, uh, you know, I don't feel like uh, writing music for myself, you know, because I'm sick and tired of being in the studio. So, well, that's awesome. Uh, Thanks for the info there. Um, Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let me tell you a bit about myself, and then uh, that'll kind of naturally launch us into the trajectory we need to be going here. Um, so I started playing music when I was about three. I was, t- I took organ lessons. Uh, uh, I played the Yamaha Electone, which is a type of, uh, uh, electronic organ. So that means I was using pad- the foot pedals, playing the bass with my feet, and then a lower keyboard and an upper keyboard and a volume pedal. And I, I did that t- till I was about 18 or so. And I actually became, uh, like a, I don't want to say a world champion, but, uh, I was like a one of the best in the world at playing the electone, and Yamaha used to sponsor me, and I would go around uh, and play all of these different festivals and showcases and things like that. Hi, doggy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they heard, no. 